Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, you know, at some point in March, okay? I don't like to really put a timing on these because the timing is fluid, but you could just call this an update for Scorpio in the near future. In the very near future. I feel like this is the very near future. We're going to start with one of these. See what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio? I see fire, which is passion. Passion. Very passionate time for you. So I'm not sure what is going on, but you may be full of it. You may be on fire. You're... You're rising from the ashes or something like that. It's definitely a passionate time. What do we have for Scorpio? It feels like I hear it. It's almost like noises, too, which is a good thing, okay? I don't know. It's something... I don't. I can't say it this early in the video, but we'll get to it. Um, what do we got for Scorpio? I see the Ace of Wands, which is a sudden uh, instant attraction or... Something, uh, a spark, a match, like you've met your match, or there's just like, woo, on fire, same, ace of wands on fire. So I'm not sure what is going on, but this is a very passionate time for you. I think that you will be on fire. You will be very uh, lit, okay? You're going to be lit. You may have this new attraction uh, or this new sudden drive, this new vision, new excitement, new exciting opportunity. It's a very fertile time, but the Ace of... It could be a new sexual partner, okay? The Ace of Wands, or the sex life is going very, very well at this time. What do we have for Scorpio? One card, please. Eight of Coins. Now, this is something to do with work, putting in effort, making something, making something work. Grinding. What is going on here? There's something going on here. Uh, looks like you're going to be smiling either way. You're going to like whatever you're doing. You are. Whatever's going on, you're definitely going to be smiling. I see that. I see that, uh... Your hard work is paying off. It's going to pay off. I think that, uh... <laughs> you're definitely... I see smiles. Posing. You know, these people are posing. They're posing for a photo where they're being watched or, um... Proving yourself in some way. You're very skilled at what you do, aren't you, Scorpio? Very skilled. The wheel of... Things are about to change for you, Scorpio. The wheel of fortune in the upright. Now, I'm not sure if you're dealing with an empress. Even though this isn't the empress card, it looks like the empress to me. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Libra. It doesn't matter, but this kind of looks like the empress to me. But anyway, um... This wheel, this is positive change. Something good is coming for you. This is destiny. This is karma. This is good karma. This is good luck. Something very good is coming. Positive change is coming. You're going to be at the right place at the right time. Okay? It's a very fertile time again. Something is about to be delivered. Okay? A cycle of your life is, is, has ended. And you're about to begin another one. And it's a whole new life. Three of Swords reverse the end of heartache. It's the end of pain. The suffering you have been through, it's over. Okay, it's over. Your life is about, this was like this, so it's about to change. Your life is about to change for the better. You've been in a painful situation. It's over, okay? This is this is a positive, positive, positive change. Get the Three of Swords reversed. It means you're on the path to recovery. It's time to leave those past hurts behind. Um, it's releasing the pain, and this is releasing pain. So something painful is being released for you, and you are moving to a much better place. Something new is happening with that Wheel of Fortune. It's very, very good. Um, now, there's something destined. It's destiny. There's something destined that is going to happen. 
The Five of Wands reversed. Now, the Five of Wands reversed is uh, solutions, um, the end of conflict, finding peace. Finding peace in the in the past hurts. You you guys are getting over some sort of situation where it may have been a constant battle of some sort. You you kept on going back and forth with this pain. You know you you thought you would heal, then you'd go back to it. Things are about to change for good. They are. Um, yeah, you were. It was really hard to move on from somebody. Six of Swords reversed. You may have been reluctant to. It feels like you were holding on to some pain for quite some time. But now things are about to change. That Wheel of Fortune wouldn't be here. Yeah, you're about to get something. Somebody's about to give you exactly what you deserve, and it's very positive. You're about to receive a gift of some sort. This is a, this is some sort of generosity, some sort of charity. Somebody's about to give you something. And it's very positive. It is. You're about to receive something. You deserve it. You do. Whatever this is. Five of Pentacles reversed. It's always better than upright. Five of Pentacles reversed is coming out. It's coming out from... Uh, abandonment it's it's a turning point okay you're about to go through a, a new a turning point right you, you're reaching a turning point uh, no longer being alone ten of pentacles reversed ten of pentacles reversed king of cups reversed emotionally unavailable feeling cold not able to master your emotions maybe you i think that you are available you may just be feeling emotional i feel like you're you're emotional over the previous loss whoever you were with may have ruined you you know they ruined you they they made you feel like you weren't worthy they made you feel like it was all your fault they made you feel they kept you stuck that's for damn sure they kept you stuck in a mindset where it was all your fault whoever you were dealing with they really caused you a lot of pain you were dealing with somebody who hurt you really 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 bad but you, now you're about to receive something positive so keep that in mind you really are it's gonna you are going to have a smile on your face I guarantee it and you may be overwhelmed you may you may not believe it you may you may feel like you can't master your emotions at all you may be like this is surreal that's what I feel like this is with the king of cups I, I don't feel like I feel like you may feel uh, like you don't believe it you know this is unbelievable you don't you may be afraid to open your heart you may be afraid to open your heart to give your love away or something um, feeling insecure. I think we, we have somebody here that is, I got a sneeze coming and I'm trying to either make it go away or make it come out. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Dissatisfied. Now there's something to do with, with the home or the job or uh, the uh, an establishment that isn't stable and that could be your own self you may have your own insecurities that you're dealing with that is causing you to not invest in something causing you to be unrealistic with the seven of pentacles reversed there's some sort of feeling of you know should I or shouldn't I you should you should I think that we should get the fool card it's time for you to take a risk I feel like I feel like you guys are closing yourself off emotionally to something. It's like somebody may be wanting to give you attention and I don't know if it's this empress right here. Doesn't it does look like the empress. This is positive. It may be a Taurus or a Libra. I think I already said that. Whatever. It could be anybody. This person is she delivers, okay? She's very motherly. Um she's got she's giving you something there is somebody that is going to be giving you something and this could be you if you are the feminine watching this 
if you are the feminine watching this, you are about to receive some sort. There's a reward that is coming. Put it that way for feminine or masculine. You're about to receive a reward for all the suffering and the pain that you have been hard to let go of. Okay, you've been suffering. It's been hard. It's been difficult. I think you've been going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you've been a little bit unrealistic with yourself. Um, and you may, you may, it may definitely be an emotional time where you feel withdrawn. You may, and that may be fear that is setting in. Um, you maybe have grown content to be by yourself and, you know, to let somebody in or whatever the case is may be difficult. Justice reversed. We have somebody here that's been treated unfairly. There's unfair treatment. Um... Lack of accountability, dishonest, and you may somebody may be being dishonest with themselves, or you're dealing with somebody who's lying to you, or has lied to you that, that you have lived with before. Somebody's not telling the truth, and that I mean with the justice reversed, and this is this is, you know, somebody that could be di being dishonest with themselves. Somebody is not telling the being they're telling the truth. They're being unrealistic. Somebody's being unrealistic, and they're not telling the truth. And it has to do with, it could be at work, okay, it could be at work, it could be at work, it could be at home with the Ten of Pentacles, or some sort of, there's somebody is lying, somebody's not telling the truth, there's an injustice, this is unfair, there's some sort of unfair treatment with the, with that, there's placing blame as well, and not being happy with an outcome, and this is lack of happiness, so we have somebody here that may have even been wallowing, okay, in an unhappy you know, thought process or an unhappy situation, but you are about to receive something. You are. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Cups isn't like a relationship. It's, it's happiness, fulfillment, permanent love. The storm is over. This is a spiritual blessing. This is the, this is, this is happily ever after. Okay. This is a, a love connection. This is, a, and with that, with that Wheel of Fortune up there, you are about to receive an opportunity to connect with somebody that uh, makes you smile. This person is very down to earth. I just, it's very earthy. Very earthy. So I'm wondering if it gets an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, maybe you were treated unfairly by a Libra or... Another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, there's been some, definitely some unfair treatment where I think you're afraid. I think that you are. I think that you are afraid to open up. Um, but I feel like you're being given this opportunity for happiness and you should give it a chance. Um, Five of Cups reversed. Now this is seizing the new opportunity, seeing the opportunity, being ready for the new opportunity. Now we have three fives here. Okay, so expect the unexpected. Five, five, five. Five, five, five is expect the unexpected. Let go of the old and bring in the new. So it's a major life change. When you see five, five, five on a license plate or anywhere, it means that your life is about to change. And it's going to change in a positive way. It is. But you will struggle with this change because change is a struggle. So it's 555 five, five is life choices and life changes. It means your life is about to change. In this case, it is a very positive change. Very, very positive. This is the wheel spinning in your favor. Okay. Bringing you a new opportunity that is going to help you to stop crying over that loss, to help you stop focusing on this loss, that loss, whatever it was. This is an opportunity for happiness. And I think it's big happiness. There's an admirer here. Okay. There's an admirer. There's a crush. There's an opportunity. There's a, this is welcome news. Welcome news of a new love. Okay. Messages of love. This is Cupid bringing two people together. This is happy, happy, happy news that is saying, you know, follow your heart. Somebody could be, be, somebody could be becoming love struck. Okay. It's like, Ooh, I'm in love, you know, feeling like you're in love. It's like all of a sudden your heart is ready and open again. There's an opportunity for love here, Scorpio, in the next 10 days. Somebody is going to be, you may be messaging with somebody, you know, that you, uh, start to have feelings for it. And I think it happens pretty quickly because it's, it's sudden, like with that ace of wands, that's sudden. 
that's sudden. That's that's all of a sudden. Okay. So I think there's a sudden new attraction, sudden new desire, sudden new drive, sudden new vision, sudden new excitement. It's like all of a sudden, boom, <sighs> out of it. You're out of that stage of of. heartache and sorrow, right? You're, you're, you're finally starting to feel again, you know? It's like, oh, relief. So, yeah. Seven of Cups here. Choices. Options. So, yeah, you're going to be presented with a choice. Make sure that you choose wisely. All is not as it seems. Look beyond the surface. Look deeper. Three of Wands, get prepared for an arrival. All of a sudden, something is right in your path. All of a sudden, it's right in front of your face. You've been waiting for it, and here it is. Get prepared. Whatever is in front of you is absolutely beautiful. Good luck. <laughs>